Hello wonderful people! Welcome back to my channel, The Teacher's Best Friend. And this is Mary Lou Areño. So we are now on series number 5, which is uh, preparing for job interview. If you remember, series 1 is about knowing the kind of visa if you would like to work in the United States. And series number 2 is where to look for job vacancies. And number three is uh, preparing your uh, credentials and uh, your other documents. And series number four is how to do your credential evaluation to know your equivalency of your um, home country transcript to the United States. So now we are on fifth series, which is preparing for job interview. So I hope you are uh, doing your job. If you are interested to look for work in the United States, just follow th those procedure. And now we are preparing for your most awaited interview. And I am going to give you five tips for job interview in the United States. Are you ready? So tip number one. Of course, if you are going to get your interview for a job in the United States, so there is a difference in your time zone. If you're from the Philippines or any other places of the world, time difference, you have to note that. So know the time zone. So even in the United States, we have a different time zone. It's, uh, we have the Eastern Standard Time, that's that's different from the central from the mountain standard time pacific and even alaska and hawaii so know the place uh, of your interview and make sure it is aligned to your time in your home place okay so you don't get mistaken of saying oh my interview is at 2 p.m and you are waiting there at 2 p.m but the time zone in the place of uh your interview is different so be sure to know that know the time zone that's tip number one so tip number two is make sure to check your technology and connectivity i have experienced this several times when i conduct interview for uh, teachers coming from overseas and i am here in the united states there's always a problem on connectivity and sometimes their microphone is not working the camera is not working and all and so forth so tip number two you need to check everything your technology and connectivity before your interview date so check your computer your camera speaker microphone and team okay uh, and check the internet connection try to to test which one has a stronger connectivity is it your bedroom your living room or outside you need to know that and um, to make sure you can also conduct like a mock interview with your friend and see if uh, all of your uh, technology and connectivity are in a working uh, status so tip number three find if possible find a private or a quiet place so I, I know that's difficult because uh, especially those who still live with their families and uh, you cannot control the noise around you I remember when we were conducting an interview there we can hear dog barking uh, the roosters uh, they are uh, making sound in the morning and even um, the people you know who are uh, around the place are you can hear them talking so I, I think for an interviewer that is uh, kind of a distraction and and they're losing their concentration instead of listening to your answer they're paying attention to the noise in your surrounding so make sure you find a place that is uh, a little bit private and quiet so you can have a uh, concentration in your interview and tip number four, you need to review some common interview questions. So uh, I know this is not your first time going for an interview and you encountered a lot of questions along the way and make sure to recall. And um, 
I would suggest uh, you check on my previous episodes. I gave some tip on how to answer some of those questions. And I can see, uh, you can see there on the screen, there's one episode that I shared some tips on how to interview a question when they say, can you tell something about yourself? Okay, so uh, you need to watch that episode to get the tips and you can also research if you want. But these uh, examples that I gave are in particular applicable uh, for teachers questions. So, and there is also a question about uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses. I have also an episode about that. And um, where do you see yourself five years from now? I did not um, come up with an episode for that. But if you have question, I can answer and I can give you some tips on how to respond to that question regarding where do you see yourself in five years from now, okay? And don't forget to ask your interviewer. So there is an episode also about that. It says interview your interviewer. And there are some questions there that you can um, ask. So I would recommend uh, review those episodes and be ready with uh, various interview questions. And of course, uh, bring your self-confidence. Tip number five, always dress for your success. Okay, even you are just doing a, a Zoom or a Skype interview, uh, do not underestimate uh, the look, you know. You have to be prepared. You have to treat it like you are on a face-to-face -face interview. Dress up, uh, put a little uh, makeup or lipstick, not too much, just right, okay? Uh, and and uh, make sure you look professional. So let's remember that. Tip number five, we need to dress for success because uh, sometimes the interviewer, uh, that is the first impression they see on you before they even ask questions. They can already have the impression on your look and how you dress professionally, okay? So um, I hope you are learning on those five tips that I gave you. And if you have more questions, please don't forget to write them on the comment down below. And for my next series, I am um, assuming that some of you already find the job or the employer and I hope getting the schedule for interview. Now I am going to show you the different agencies that can sponsor a J-1 visa. There are so many agencies that can do that. And if your employer uh, says, how can we take you to the United States? Because some, some employer, they don't have an idea on the immigration uh, requirements and all that. So if, if they don't have their immigration lawyer to do it, I can suggest that uh, you can also recommend some J-1 sponsor agencies. And uh, I'll give you a list of those agencies to contact. And you are not going to spend uh, so much money because you will only pay for your service and um, the processing of the DS-2019. And most of the time, the employers uh, pay those uh, costs. So uh, just be aware that there are so many agencies that can sponsor J-1 visa if you plan to come in the U.S to work in a J-1 visa, okay? So that would be the series number six. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. And you have a wonderful day. Thank you and bye for now. And to God be the glory.